hello everyone welcome to Jenkins tutorial so today we will see how to uh, how to create a parameterized uh, job in uh, Jenkins now uh, why to create a uh, or what is the use case for creating a parameterized job like uh, in various cases on case to case in some projects or uh, some applications we may need to provide some inputs at runtime to the uh, to the um, Jenkins job or maybe one uh, Jenkins job is passing uh, some parameter value from one job to another job so those case it may be helpful uh, whenever you want to have a runtime uh, input uh, for the application or job so in that case we may need that and uh, like most of the times you do need that so let's go through and get started like how to do that so for that like i'll go with the first uh, part which is like we'll just create a freestyle project first Okay, so we'll go with this uh, job in the pre-cell mode then we'll check with the Jenkins pipeline later so I'll just go ahead and I'll skip all the basic parts and uh, because this is just for demo purpose on how to utilize this so we'll just focus on that part this is the description I go to this project is uh, parameterized and there are various other options if you see like you can select boolean choice and various other things so maybe uh, i'll just consider the string parameter for our use case so i'll just uh, uh, use the variable name or the name uh, here as project so just remember like it will act as a key value pair so whatever you give here in the name it will act as a, a variable and it will take some default values from here so i'm just giving the default value of uh, maybe java okay uh, and then we will go and uh, uh, go ahead with uh, by skipping all other steps and i'll directly go to the build step select the shell script as my, uh, my node or the master node is uh, i'll be running for this uh, and this which is on mac uh, machine so i'll just uh, have a small script uh, which is basically nothing but uh, what it is doing is like it is just checking the uh, project like whatever we have set here in the key part project uh, if it is uh, java then it will go to this if condition and it will print this this is a java project based project if it is not uh, other than java then it will print this uh, node.js based project so this is our simple uh, script which we'll be trying to use for our demo so that's it like how to create the parameterized job uh, now let's see how it's functioning part so I'll just uh, click on the build with parameters and here I can see like this is the default value if you want to have some other value you can replace here uh, maybe I put node.js or maybe whatever you say it's uh, you say python so when I click this it will go and run the build and within few seconds it should be success and we'll see like uh, what is the output okay we can see this uh, job is run it is success and it has uh, gone to our uh, like uh, variable and the variable value was uh, python which we fed and is not equal to java hence uh, this is a uh, node.js uh, based project which is going to the else condition now uh, like uh, for doing it properly maybe uh, you can just have it as default value java and you when you build that and it should build uh, and it should uh, display the echo as this is a uh, java based uh, project based on the condition so if we see like java is equal to java condition here hence it is printing like this is a java based project whereas in the previous case like uh, we put it uh, it was in the else part of the if loop where we are just simply putting this is a node.js based project so that's it from the parameterized section part uh, via, via or using freestyle job